What's up everybody, today I'll be showing you how to use NVIDIA Shadowplay on an unsupported computer. Here I have my 2012 Sony Veo S series with a NVIDIA GeForce 640M LE which is currently unsupported by Shadowplay. Now this card is overclocked, I will show you that in just a second. However, if I open up GeForce Experience here You'll, when it opens up, you'll be able to see that this card is not supported. Alright, now that that's opened up, see here, Shadow Play, not ready. Um, if I go ahead and click on that, everything else is met for me except for um, the graphics card. Uh, you can see see the specs of my computer right there everything else is good um, and as I mentioned it this card is overclocked but uh, that shouldn't shouldn't matter from what I've seen from these tests that I've done later in the video I will show um, a performance comparison compared to fraps as you see here this is the 2 gigabyte GDDR3 model and I've raised the clock speed up from 500 megahertz up to 950 and the memory is also raised up to a thousand from 900 now that might seem like a substantial overclock but it still is completely stable and there was only about less than a seven degree temperature change so temps were have been absolutely fine I've had this overclock on here for years now so it's all good now, as I was saying, how to actually open up Shadow Play on a on support computer. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to create a shortcut on your desktop to GeForce Experience. As you see, I've already done that here. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. That's easy to do. And then you want to right-click it and go into the properties. And under Target, at the end, you just want to add Shadow Play or hyphen Shadow Play space hyphen Game Stream. Okay, so then once you've done that, go ahead and save it and back out, and um, let me get GeForce Experience opened up here. Now, it doesn't have to be open, but I find that Shadowplay opens up quicker if you already have GeForce Experience running. So, I've got it opened up now, so I can just come over here, click on my link, and then you see Shadowplay opens up right away, and I already have it turned on. Um, it's set to high quality 60 frames per second and I'm just gonna go ahead and use Oblivion for benchmarking here because I know what kind of frames I get in it and um, yeah that's pretty much why now if you're wondering why I have a disc I got a great deal on this I don't have a whole bunch of discs I'm not that old-fashioned but anyways I will also be using fraps to um, show the frames per second so you'll be able to see that uh, alright so here's that now I have several mods installed on on um, Oblivion so my frames are going to be significantly lower than if I was running a vanilla version of the game um, and I also I can't just click on the default icon to start it up because of some of the mods okay so I'm back um now uh, like I said I have mods installed so I can't open it up the traditional way but here we go now that I've got it started um, I can tell that shadow play is running because the icon is down in the bottom right hand side of the corner and uh, over here we have the fraps counter running uh, this is currently set to run at the game resolution, which I believe I have set to 900p because this graphics card struggles with 1080. Okay, so. Skip all that. Okay, now that we have all this set up, um, 
you can begin recording by pressing Alt F9 by default. Now I'm going to be using this controller right here because I'm not a huge fan of keyboard and mouse. But when I press Alt F9, you can see the shadow play icon light up and recording has begun. Now I'm going to go ahead and jump to the footage that I've recorded so you don't have to view this off screen recording. As you can see, the quality of this is very high detail. Um, it maintains the frames per second. Um, as you see, it's running at a steady 30. I do believe this is because of um, I put a frame limiter on here. Otherwise, it would be bouncing around. Now I'm going to go to um, I'm just going to go over here by Anvil because I this is where I've noticed the biggest frame drops normally. So I'm just going to see how um, shadow fl shadow play will affect this. Um, as you see, I'm still running at 30. Now, um, as I walk down here, expect the dips into the low 20s because that's what I usually experience when I'm not recording. Um, and that's really because of this grass mod. And it will sometimes stutter just when it's loading. Um, I've tried increasing the overclock, which actually did produce a nice steady 30 frames per second. However, it became unstable in other games, so I went back to the 950, which is completely stable. Um, yeah, honestly, as far as this game goes, from what I've seen, um, frame rate really isn't affected by shadow play. It stays pretty much the same. I mean, there might be a one or two frame difference, but nothing that I've really noticed. Now, something that I've noticed in previous testing, though, is that the loading times do seem to be significantly longer, but it's that's not that big of a deal. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and end this now. And exit out. I'm just going to uh, use this application switcher button on my mouse and okay now I'm gonna simply flip off shadow play and the video that I recorded um, will be in my videos under oblivion and the total size for uh, that two minute recording is 401 megabytes. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, do some similar tests with Fraps and see how that affects performance as well as um, the size. So I'm also going to close out GeForce Experience and I'm just going to um, re-enable the video capture key real quick. Make it F9. Now I, I had to disable that because it was the same as Shadow Plays, so didn't want that to start. Okay. So now I'm just going to jump right back into Oblivion. Okay, so I'm going to begin recording now with Fraps. As you see, the counter turns red. And um, so far in the city, you know, we're, we're still getting the basic 60 or 30 frames per second cap. I'm going to go ahead and go to the on-screen recording now and teleport over to the Anvil area. Okay. So we're back here now. Um, recording paused for some reason. I'll go ahead and restart it. Um... frame rate is being steady in the low 20s. I am noticing a bit more of a slowdown with fraps running as compared to shadow play. However, when I was over here earlier, I did notice that my frames were um, closer to 30, so it does look like shadow play had some impact on frames. However, it was significantly less than fraps. As you can see here, it just jumped back up. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out and now look at 
at the space that those videos took up. Okay, so uh, now, I'm, now I've opened up the Fraps folder, and as you can see, these are significantly larger, with one of these videos taking up over a gigabyte, and these videos are sig also significantly shorter than the videos recorded by NVIDIA Shadowplay. So Shadowplay was definitely on cue with um, efficiency, I guess you would say. Uh, now I haven't actually compared the quality of these videos, but you guys will be able to see it when this is all finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.